Good evening, and welcome to Gray Barn Antiques of Andover, New Jersey. Tonight, Tuesday, August 22nd, we're going to visit with our two 30% off vendors, Belmont Farmhouse and The Hip Chick. Their vendor codes are 56 and 57. Not planned that way, they just happen to go in order. Now, up in our about information, you can find out how to reach out to us to purchase from this video or any of our other videos. Tomorrow night is Wednesday, which means it will be time for our weekly Facebook Live, which I feature items that just came in that day, as well as items I find that have been recently reduced to a, a really nice price, and just anything else that might catch my eye. Now, we were uh, closed today and yesterday. Got these in. These are gonna be $15 each. They are 18 by 18, brand new. They've got really nice pillow inside of them, the different holiday pillows. And while we were off, we did not come to the shop, which is a rarity. And then tonight I came because well, you can see the tent, all this stuff still has to be put away. Vendors have to pick up the larger items that have a book, uh, just a bookshelf in the shop because we did have our August rush, our second event. This, uh, this was the second time we did this in August. And that entails additional vendors outside as well as some pretty deep discounts inside, which you can only get at the shop. It did not apply to any of our social media. So vendors, Belmont Farmhouse and the Hip Chick have these two shelves, not again, planned, 56 and 57, right in the same bookcase. That worked out well. Below them is good to go. He is leaving at the end of this month and he is there for a 60% off vendor. So we're gonna start with the Hip Chick. And she is, like I said, 30% off. So. Both of these vendors are 30% off, and you get that same discount for cash, credit card, PayPal. And the ticketed price, you're gonna see how to read our tickets. And I keep saying vendor 56 and 57, that's their vendor code. That is just their inventory code. This is the number you're interested in, that is the price. So this pen here, this pin, becomes, four, uh, yes, $14. And then 12 becomes 840. The easiest way that I can do this on a calculator, and you come right up with the number, is you would take like uh, 25 times 0.7, and that gives you 1750. You don't even have to, I know a lot of people do the 25 times the 0.3, and then you take that number and you subtract it from the 25. Why do that when you can get it in one fair swoop with just doing that, like I said, times 0.7. So 10 times 0.7 gives us $7. Perfect, right? Or you could do the 10 times the 30, that gives you three. 10 minus three still gets you to seven. So just doing it by the 0.7 gets you there a lot faster. It's a nice set of glasses here, 35 and then 30% off. Romanian clear glass, decanter and three glasses, some gold gloss. A neat old Pinocchio pop-up book, Roseville in the Snowberry, I believe. Bleeding Heart, I'm sorry, 65 and then 30% off. 30 on that piece of Roseville there. And you'll see some of the same things from when we did this the last time, but in between there's some new items that have appeared in the shop. And when I say new, I just mean new to the shop, still vintage. And you'll also see some items do get reduced, so. Herringbone with ruffle blue glass pitcher. It's a nice piece of antique glassware there. So that would be the 75 and then 30% off. Ooh, that's raised, very pretty. And if you do see something that's on a higher end, yes, you can make an offer. The worst they're gonna say is no. So this brace scarab paperweight becomes 35. Ooh, neat, look at that. He's got all the hieroglyphics underneath him. I wonder what that translates to. I'm not gonna read it out loud. It might be a curse. Or who knows, it might be the way to win the lottery. I don't know, but I'm not gonna chance it. <laughs> oh, that's cool, where'd that come from? Dracula. For seven, uh, for eight dollars. I'm so. Oh, I see. There's a fry. I, I couldn't quite figure this out. There's a die cut Frankenstein for eight, and then behind it's an old movie poster, a small one for eight. Those are from our vendor, uh, the uh, retired major. So we're gonna start walking to the back. On the way, I did turn on Auntie's Auntie's attic because I wanted you to see this light that she just brought in. It is not old, it is newer. I mean, it's, it is vintage in the sense that it's 25 plus years older, but it's not an antique. It's like that mix of like that, it's kind of like a, um, 
plastic glass kind of thing, but it's got the real glass on there. And it's just a beautiful dragonfly lamp. Look at the base on that. This we cannot ship, folks. I apologize. It's just, it would be a nightmare. Uh, if we did, we'd have to bring it down to the UPS store and it would cost you quite a bit because we would not feel comfortable packaging that for you. So that would be $192. And that's the same again for cash or credit. And you can see they, we kind of have the booth block because this is the stuff that was outside this past weekend. We had perfect weather for it. So a lot of these things have to be worked back into their booths, which we will do for them tomorrow. Now we're going to come visit with the hip chick first. She's this booth here on the left. And I don't have all the lights on in the shop. I just have this side of the shop where we are visiting. What's happening here? The tag is falling off. Let's give it a little assistance. So that is um, $105 for that really cool. This is a nice piece. It's got the copper punch tin. Again, this would be a pickup. And you do have those three shelves inside. So a real nice piece. It is wood. It's a fantastic price on that. And please do not hesitate to reach out if you have any questions on this video or past videos on any item that I might have gone by too fast for you and you need more information on, item I didn't focus on, you need measurements, just let us know. We will get that for you. Never a problem. The stand did sell this past weekend and they'll be coming in this next weekend to pick that up. You can see quite a bit of stuff sold. There's a lot of space on the shelves. We had a very good weekend a lot of very nice people came out. And uh, I was not up to coming out tonight. I do have to take my son to his Civil Air Patrol. A little bit still tired, but um, that's nice. 25 and so this would be 17.50 and there's five pieces. You have the sterno underneath it and the pan. That would require several boxes if you needed that shipped. The larger pot's a little more difficult to ship again. nice lamp there 45 and then the 30% off there was a floor lamp that came in here when did she bring that Friday and I think that sold Sun no yeah Sunday morning it sold already yeah so a lot of stuff doesn't even make it a day or two and it goes right out the door and another thing is you can see they rearranged their booths to make room for other pieces to come on in and some nice little chest of drawers there nice mirrors and again, this is the hip chick. Cute little turkey for six thirty. Craft project. This, if it does not sell from this, will be going up tomorrow night on my Facebook Live for five dollars and sixty cents. And that's a nice piece here. You can see somebody put a drawer out this weekend, and so we have one ninety five, and then that's thirty percent off of that. So there's some cosmetic issues. And there are the measurements as well. So it helps when our vendors do put those measurements on. Now the white table in the center here is not for sale as we found out. So we inquired about that. This is cute, not super old. It is a, there's actually, if you look online and you look up Art Deco, Great Day, and you'll see there, there are a lot more, um, the vintage ones were very well defined. So you're getting this one for $17.50 because he's not one of the super old ones. He does have some age. When we say vintage is defined, they define it as 25 plus years and older. So that's really not that far back. Antiques are 100 plus years old. And then we get into periods of time, Art Nouveau, Art Deco, MCM. A lot of people refer to the 70s as the retro. You have kitschy referred to. So you have uh, terms break down that barrier because things that are quite not quite 100 years old still fall into the vintage category but they're older than vintage so they have terms for that to help identify the time period so art nouveau art deco uh earlier and they start to meld at one point and then it just kind of goes off to art deco becomes the main the art nouveau is after victorian not quite as ornate as the victorian a lot more softer lines than the hard Victorian pieces had the dark wood Art Nouveau started to be more more natural had a more flow to it and Art Deco brought us back to a little bit more of the, the more of the straight lines and that so you can see like the abstracts the cubism coming through in the Art Deco pieces the little figurines the furniture 
like the waterfall it was kind of like right when Art Nouveau and Art Deco were starting to merge and you still have that softness from the Art Nouveau but you're, you're still getting that geometric design with the Art Deco. So this we shifted over to Belmont Farmhouse and the name came from Belmont Drive and she used to own a farmhouse on Belmont Drive up in Pennsylvania and that's how we came up with that name and as you can see a lot of empty spaces in this booth as well. And again, she is 30% off. And we will be doing our Facebook Live tomorrow night. I'm sorry I'm not really uh, zooming in and taking my time on a lot of things tonight. Like I said, a little bit tired. Oh, this is cute. It's 25, so it'll be 1750 Toller Powder Box. It's got some nice age to it, a little wood knob on that. Cute little jug for $4.90. It's actually a candle holder. It's got these little indents on it, and you do have the name on the bottom. It's Smoky Candle, Syracuse, New York, that was made in. It's what a fun piece of pottery there. Our little friends that are hopefully our little spider friends. I've not been killing them. I feel bad killing the spiders. If they're really large, I mean, I might have Don take care of it, but there's a lot of little guys running around, and figure with all the bugs that we have, it's not a bad thing. So this is a beautiful piece here. This is Manicoli for Tiffany and Company wheat pitcher for 35 Now the outside of this is a matte finish. And you can see the beautiful details on this. But the inside does have the glaze, so it is able to hold water. So it will not seep through. You need to make sure that the, ex the uh, interior of your pottery pieces are glazed so as not to seep out the water or any liquid you might put into that. Cute little sugar pot for 6 30, and these are 21. And I just remember, I was just thinking, my, my mouth is very dry. Nice piece of pyrus for 14. And in college, I remember this one, one kid that I knew when I used to go up to visit my friend at Southern Connecticut St State University. It was just 840 for this glass. He used to, he had a saying about when your mouth is really dry, hamster mouth. Instead of cotton mouth, hamster mouth's like having a, a hamster in your mouth. So you get really dry. I'd only heard cotton mouth, which made a lot more sense to me than cotton mouth, cause, uh, than hamster mouth, because I don't know many, I don't know anybody who goes around putting hamsters in their mouth. So I was, well, you know, the, the, the little phrases in terms of, you know, the phraseology that you get from different parts of the country and stuff and things that people pick up and how they say it, it's just kind of funny. It's fun. Language is fun. Even in our own country, we have all kinds of differences. That's just 14 for that little oval. Just, and that's everywhere, the accents and everywhere. Because I remember my mother, this is uh, 840 for this, my mother's from Germany. And she was from the West Germany and further, um, kind of north, not as far as like, you know, so not like the Black Forest. I think the Black Forest is way up. These are cool, the your whistle. These are just 630 each. And West whistle for your beer. And they couldn't, it was like here. I mean, you go down south, there's some people that have such a drawl or they'll have the, the New Orleans kind of with that Cajun um, accent going. My mother said that, you know, there were parts of Germany she would go to, they could, neither party could understand each other and they're all speaking German, but it's just the accents and uh, just the, the, the slang and the terminology that we all have that differs in each country. So it is difficult. I applaud anybody who learns any foreign language and is able to communicate when they go to another country. And they say it's actually, you can start learning a language at any age and it's actually a very good thing to do because it keeps your mind very active. This is a beautiful gold set here. And that is 30% off the 65, it does have the box. These go wonderful with the old country rose. That's what my mother had with her old country rose was the gold uh, flatware. We'll call it flatware, it's gonna say silverware, but it's goldware, I guess then, right? Uh, the flatware, but uh, they say like doing puzzles and challenges, anything you do to challenge your mind to help stave off dementia, Alzheimer's, anything you can do. And if you start learning a language at an older age, that's actually very good for you. It's great mental exercise. You can't just exercise your body, you gotta exercise your mind continuously and just con constantly keep learning things and it'll help you keep your mind sharp. This I was surprised to not go this weekend because it's just, uh, just $28 for that. Uh, something we can't ship, nice. Uh, it's missing the spout, $21. This little guy, I thought was such a pretty little color, $14 for the pink little step stool there. I 
A lot of great planters still, and again, she is 30% off. And this is Belmont Farmhouse. And we're gonna go check out that cabinet again, which I've shown you in the past, but something exciting happened to it. Something we recommended, and her uh, partner Pete took her up on the challenge and has come through for us. This is a nice two-tone whiskey jug for 25, so that'd be 1750. And again, always check with us if we can ship something um, and we'll let you know. Uh, it's, it's more of a shipping challenge, getting the right boxes, make sure it's gonna be something that's gonna ship safe and secure. So let me close the lid on this. There we go, so we can see we actually have a full set of pool balls there. She's just recently reduced them from 45 to 40, so they become $28. Some nice pottery here. She's always got a lot of great books. And our books are simple to find the prices. We'll have people bringing them up and we're like, it's right in the front. I have them all put in the same place. They're supposed to just put a little post-it note right under the first page. We have Sussex County, and that would be Sussex County, New Jersey. A little history here, fun book. No hymn. I had somebody looking for hymnals the other day. I am keeping my eye out. I do have a piano for hands book. I'm just gonna put this where we can actually open this up in case the, pe the person who was asking me, uh, I don't know if they needed a hymnal specifically or if they're looking for music sheets and if something like this might work for your crafting projects. Uh, I'd say it's about, um, this would be about seven by 13 kind of, a little bit bigger than a eight by 12, a little bit different than a standard sheet. So if that works for you, oh, let me tell you the price on it too. That might be helpful, right? That's just $4.90. So if you're looking for music sheet to use in your uh, crafting projects, there's a good one for you. Whoops. Okay. Nothing broke. <laughs> oh, nice. This is a nice piece here. And that's 16 and 30% off with a brass planter. I pushed a book through. What did we push through? Another Fenton Comprehensive Price Guide, 1995, compiled by members of the Fenton Art Glass Collectors of America. Now these are fun. We've had one of these before because these actually usually have some of the pictures in here of Fenton. So um, does it have any of the pictures? I need to get a GoPro so I can have both hands free to do this. Now this is the price guide. We sold the booklet that had the pictures. So this is just a price guide. A lot of great stuff in here. I'm gonna put this here though so I don't knock anything else down. What's this? Ooh, pins needle case. That's nice. It's little toilet pins, and that is four dollars and twenty cents. Oh, there's even some pins in there too. Some nice fun graphics, and it still has the pins in there. How fun is that? Made in Germany. So this is definitely before. This is probably 1880s, 1890s, and that's just four twenty. Looks like if this is a needle pack, I must buy this because I collect needle packs, and I don't have this one as a needle pack. So this is great when I go do these things and I end up shopping. Looks like there's two and they are just $2.80. I'm gonna leave one behind for somebody else. I don't need to be greedy. So there's one of those left. I am buying one. What is that? Oh, rug cutter. I'm walking away going, what is rug butter? Oh, it's a rug cutter. Yeah. Interesting. So she's got a lot of her kitchen tools over here. Ooh, look at all this ribbon here. I know people love their ribbon. Hey, this is the bag of, and if this doesn't sell tonight, I will bring that up tomorrow. And it is, I apologize for this. There it is, $8.40 and you get all this. Let's see how big, that's a big purple roll. So I will definitely be looking at bringing that up tomorrow. I was telling Don, I'm gonna try to make it not so much stuff tomorrow night because they've been running me an hour and a half, the Facebook Lives, but there's just so much good stuff in here. And, and it's, I know a lot of the people that we sell to online now, we ship to. So you don't get a chance to come in here and see all the great stuff our vendors keep bringing in and get a chance to, to see everything in here in one shot. So I, I try to, to get these items into new homes. I wish I just had more hours in the day so I could do more videos for you guys. I wish I could put everything up on a page, on a shopping page, so you could just go crazy on there. So what I want to show you about this cabinet, now she has sealed this, so the paint is not gonna chip off, but previously there were no shelves in it. Well, guess what? It now is shelved. So this is, it was a great piece before. You could use it as a cupboard. You can see the back has some 
it's old has some issues back there but now look we've got shelves in there so what a fantastic cupboard that is and you have that drawer on the bottom and the color outside is fantastic the nice thing about he used brand new wood you can smell that pine is you don't have to worry about issues like this is sealed this has been sealed forever by not using older wood we don't have to worry about any uh the the worm kind of things that get in there so we now have that with the shelving in it we have the measurements here and then we have the price 250 and then 30% off of that. So that was quite a good deal. This is a cute little planter type folk art style box for $4.90. Oh, this is cute. What's that? Copper hanging basket for $14. It even has the little bracket for the back. And like I said, don't forget tomorrow night at 5.30 Eastern Standard Time, is our weekly Facebook live. You'll see that if I don't sell, if I if I don't sell more than 50% of the items, I just put the replay of the video back up. If we do sell a lot, then I do remains of the sale, so it's not sitting there for hours watching. She just brought this guy in the other day, which I thought was very cute. He's just 350 for the little, I don't say it's a glass tea bag holder, but it's not very indented, maybe a coaster, but whatever, it's very cute. So my, my teapot people. This is a nice old hoop. It's got quite the, a lot fancier than what I used to use. Queen patented for $4.90. And these make great little picture frames for your little doilies and stuff. How cute is that? And again, you're taking 30% off in this booth. You will notice that that pink lamp that was over here has gone. She only has one light left in here right now, and that one is not for sale. So I'm sure as soon as she comes across some more table lamps, they will be making their way into the gray barn. A lot of great glass. Nice wrought iron candle holders for taper candles. It's got a lot of great old maps, towel holders, mortar and pestles. It's a cute little piece here, 14, and then uh, the 30% off. Washington DC is it? Is that what our little souvenir dish is? No, it's the Wiggly it's Chicago, four dollars and ninety cents. I just started watching Mike and Molly, and that was in Chicago. I like watch. I, I never watched it before, so it's, it's fun to watch these shows um, from the beginning and watch the whole series, and you know, and I have to worry about waiting for next week, you know. Or next season so this is a quimper tin so 630 so if you collect quimper the seats right there it's it actually says quimper on it and that is in one of their popular patterns this is a two-sided sign handcrafted and now we're just going to look through the center at these items again and we're going to get ready to go back up front and wrap this video up apologize for my lack of energy tonight this is cool. I love restaurant wear. I don't know where Antioch was, but that's just $14. I love the colors on that one. So what I'm gonna do though is get the lights while I'm back here and you can admire the Tiffany piece again. I think that's a, a gorgeous piece of pottery, very unusual. And we're gonna head on up. And first we're gonna walk back through the hip chick and get this light as well. Oh, she just brought this in too. And that is $28 and don't have measurements on that but that smell glass can't ship that I'm sorry so it, it might need a little to be electrified again or you can just use it for candles I know a lot of people love using these for their enclosed porches and outdoors and stuff and that's a that's a lovely one for that just put some nice candles in there get yourself some citronella candles in it anything to help with that right and we are gonna walk on back up to the front we are going past Andover Junction right in front of us turn this way and go back up to where we were and again we have the pillows for 15 I am getting back in the tea cookies and lemon just shipped uh, they come from Oregon and these cookies are just amazing this is the the real raspberries and blackberries and key lime and this is the brand is uh, cranberry sweets and they are out of Oregon the coffee is delicious I'm conducting a 
counting how many cups I get out of each bag so I can put that information up there. And so far, I'm not gonna try the pumpkin spice or the monster mint. I don't, I've never been a pumpkin spice person. I don't care for mint in my drinks or my food. The blueberry is delicious. The Jamaica Me Crazy is just a robust coffee. It doesn't have a lot of the, like you can't really taste the vanilla and the rum. Blueberry is very good. And the one that we're enjoying right now that when you're, I mean, it's, it's delicious to taste, but when you're, when it's percolating, the sugar roasted pecan, the smell's amazing. The caramel apple is very good. Their home brews, they're regular. I'm gonna be trying that. And what else are we getting in? I know I have uh, other foods coming in. We still have the apple butter, which everybody seems to love. These pillows I got to take. Oh, we did get a lot of, this whole front booth, all this vintage, I think I mentioned this before, so all this vintage is slowly gonna make its way to the back again, or to the front, but it's, it's moving out of this booth. And this booth is gonna be all new, and I got these fantastic runners in last week, and we'll be getting more stuff in from this company. I love their stuff. And so this one is a, they have the size on it, 36 inch runner for $10 firm. And uh, we have burlap ones. We even have the rolls of ribbon. These are brand new. So you have $8 and $10. Uh, they're 10 inch rolls. And there's two, diff uh, two different styles in the eight inch. Didn't see, there's this style. I think they have the, just the numbers on it. Crochet ribbon. 605 that one ends in and it's killing me here it puts things so high up for other people uh 605 there's two styles and i'm not finding the other number and then you have the two and a half inch wide they have these uh, vintage style bottles that are a lot of fun and i got this really nice big apron in for 12 firm it's an eastbrook apron it's got the adjustable top we'll be getting hopefully more of the blankets in because we always do well with those this time of year oh i do have these poinsettias these are three each and they are the burlap we have them in the tan and we have them in red and then we have um these little uh, pieces here that are a dollar each and mine goes off again so on the bag is what you call it um a rope sachet with the little tassel on the end kind of thing. Oh, and we got these little pillows too from them. And these are just $7 each and it's a little tea party. And these are brand new in the bag. So it has like a stain to it. Garland stoves and ranges. So we do have that many so far. We got these pretty vintage style prints. And Don, we just got in. I can't ship these until the weather gets cooler. Hershey's Harry Potter uh, candy bars. We have all the other Hershey, uh, all the other Harry Potter as well. And we've been in the process of moving the food to here, which had some smalls on this table, but we're finding that people aren't really checking this booth for vintage. So it's gonna be more boutique-y. We're gonna have all the ephemera in there. The fudge, as you can see, has been doing very well in its new location. And these are the flavors that we have left. They are $8.95, a half a pound. Again, when the weather gets a little bit cooler, we can ship these to you, absolutely. Just right now, we are not going to be shipping any of the chocolate. We have a couple of the, these are new, they're just little skull dies, and those are $2 each. We do have the loose tea in the literary, in the small pouch, as well as the larger, the dessert flavors, and again, the pillows that just came in. We have Christmas, and we have the Halloween with the Halloween girl on it, and those are 15 firm each on those. So again, tonight we visited, oh, we got a ton of these little wooden ornaments that are just a dollar each. Tonight we did visit with Belmont Farmhouse and the Hip Chick. You are watching The Gray Barn at 134 Main Street, Andover, New Jersey. Main Street here is actually just Route 206, right off of 80. We're about eight minutes off of exit 25, and you just head up north towards Newton. Thank you as always for joining us and have a wonderful evening.